I'm able to center myself and I'm able to distill a silence to my mind. And through silencing the mind, I'm able to then choose the thoughts more proactively that are going to manifest. Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alorin Rose. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, we're going to be talking all about how you can use music to manifest. Now I've made a video on how music can be blocking your manifestation, but I wanted to make a video on how to use music in order to manifest. And when I say manifest, I really want to quickly get into this. So with the law of attraction, you attract who you are at a vibrational resonance, okay? And so when we are in, well, we're always manifesting. I was about to say when we're in a manifestation state, we're always manifesting, right? We're always constantly manifesting. And music has a huge, huge, huge influence on our vibrational resonance. Why can't I talk? Um, it's a huge impact in the way we feel and the way we think. And if you know the law of attraction, you know thoughts become things. Thoughts literally create your reality. So in order to still the mind, still these limitations, still these uh, thoughts that do not serve us, that can create us into a state of fear, silencing the ego comes from specific music. Now I've made a video on how certain music can be uh, blocking your manifestation. So I don't really want to talk too much about that, but I want to talk more on the sense of what music you can use to um, have a more joy joyful, enjoyable life. And I have been experimenting with music for about a year now. Um, you know, I used to listen to anything and everything. I would listen to rappers, uh, charts music. I would I'd listen to everything. And now it's to a certain point where um, I still enjoy the music, like in the charts and these sort of things. And especially if I'm doing shadow work, I'll listen to really sad songs just to evoke emotion. But for the most part, I love listening to Hertz music. I listen to 432 Hertz music. I listen to 528 Hertz music. I listen to 11101 Angel Frequencies. I'm going to link. Um, I've searched the all the web with every single piece of music. Like I've searched the web for so many songs and um, I've found two that I absolutely adore. One is for the daytime and one is for sleep. So I'm going to link those down below as well as my Spotify playlist. So if you want to give me a follow, uh, I'm not asking, but like if you wanted to follow me, you can see the playlists I have for the Hertz music. If you're just wanting to check, I have Chakra and uh, meditation music. I have yoga music. I have playlists for all of these sort of things, but certain things. But I notice now when I, I don't know if it's because I've made more of a conscious effort when I lis um, to listen to Hertz music, but when I listen to pop music or uh, house music or DJs, I notice my ego coming to life. Like my ego thrives off um, sort of music that I can create scenarios in my head and all of these sort of things. And it just, it just thrives. It just thrives really. But what I notice is a lot of the time, it's the same sort of effect when we have coffee. And if you know, recently, if you watch one of my videos, um, I'm gonna make a video soon on why I quit caffeine and how it can benefit you spiritually if you choose. But I recently quit caffeine. And um, since quitting caffeine, um, I mean, when I did drink caffeine, when you drink coffee, you start to get um, this rush, this like feeling of a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of just alertness, right? And so it's the same with music for me now. When I listen to certain music, I start to become a bit more frantic, a little bit more like alert, right? And so a lot of people work will constantly consume music um, in, a, in a daydream, kind of unconscious to the music. Okay, if they're listening to it all the time, every day, whether you know they're always on TikTok or always watching YouTube or always watching TV, they can never simply be still without some sort of stimulant, right? And that's for a lot of people. We all love distractions. And since now coming out of that distraction state for a lot of things, I now can feel the difference in my energy when I go back into those dreamlike states, when I go back into TikTok, when I um, listen and do all of these sort of things. And it's really fascinating. So for me, what I would highly recommend for you in order to help you manifest is to listen to Hertz music. And again, I've left mine down below, but Hertz music is so powerful because it alters your state of consciousness. Okay. So it's almost 
just a form of meditation. It's music that everyone uses for meditation. But if you are listening to it around the place, you can start to cry because it can evoke trapped trauma in you that you didn't even realize you had. It can create such a happiness towards you because you're expanding, you're, you're raising your consciousness really. And what's happening is the ego is slowly silencing. It calms the ego. And with all Hertz music, it calms the mind. It makes you feel at such a calm relaxation state. So it's almost like you're meditating all day, every day with this type of music. And through listening to Hertz music, I've been able to be a lot more conscious in my life in regards to decisions, choices, the way I treat myself, my spiritual journey. I've been a lot more kind and compassionate and loving to myself because through listening to this Hertz music, I'm able to center myself and I'm able to distill a silence to my mind. And through silencing the mind, I'm able to then choose the thoughts more proactively that are going to manifest. Because when we are, we understand that our thoughts, our actions and our beliefs create our reality, we'll be able to become more aware of them. And when you listen to Hertz music, you're able to become aware of these thoughts and understand, is this serving me? And that's what we do in med meditation. We observe our thoughts and we realize that these thoughts do not serve us and we can simply let them go because we're the observer. And that's the same sort of um, outcome that Hertz music has is when we listen to this, we're able to observe our thoughts because it puts us into this state like this sort of um, soul state where we're able to be the observer we're able to be more conscious and when we're listening to music it's all of these words that are flooding in and it's it's basically noising out all the thoughts that you have and you're not able to hear them and although music is incredible i love music for dancing especially 80s music if you follow me on spotify you'll see my high vibrational music playlist all to do with like 80s music because i love dancing to that sort of music that's my favorite type of music um it's not to say music is bad not at all you don't need to be meditating 24 7 but it's to understand if you are constantly listening to music maybe if you drive to work you do um listen to music try even changing one hour of that music consumption into hertz music and see how different your state starts to become. And over time, you won't feel the need to constantly be distracted through music. Now at the start, I'd be like, this is a chore. Like I used to feel like listening to music, to listening to Hertz music was a chore. All I wanted to do was listen to pop music. And now when I go my walks in the morning, I'm always just listening to Hertz music. I don't even listen to pop music. And that's my new scent. That's my new enjoyment. Like that's my now favorite thing to do. So understand if that sounds not fun to you, understand with practice and with progress, you will start to enjoy that and music is an incredible tool I love music it can help you to do shadow work it can help you to feel incredible but it's just to be more conscious of the music you are putting into your brain because the music you are surrounding yourself with is going to be creating a certain reality if someone's talking about how hard it is to find love okay you know a lot of the songs nowadays are about love and if it's sort of a negative connotation that can start to create more beliefs within you about love okay so just be more conscious okay it's not saying you need to cut out music if you enjoy music incredible listen to music um but it's also to understand that a lot of music has a frequency a binaural beat behind it and that affects your vibrational standpoint as well so um, but certain songs can have vibrational beats in them that can make you feel a certain way so it's just to be conscious of how you feel after certain songs, okay? And not necessarily to always numb yourself with songs because I noticed I've gone weeks where I just listen to music and I feel happy, but the mu minute that music stops and I go back to Hertz, I feel so much sadness because I feel I've suppressed a lot throughout those few weeks. So it's just to be more of a conscious music um, consumer and, um, just enjoy life. Life isn't meant to be taken seriously. Life's meant to be have to have more fun. And through listening to Hertz music, you can actually have more fun because you're not always so anxious. You're not always excessive thinking. You're not always paranoid. You're just living life. So it's kind of a byproduct. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button and let me know down below what your favorite thing about this or if you learned something new or your opinions, I would love to hear. And yeah, if you want to learn a little bit more about my work, I do have the Goal Getter Mindset Academy and in a big module, I talk about um, the consumption of music, social media, a lot about this. But um, if you wanna check that course down below, it's a seven week transformational course to manifest your dream life. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, 
um, you can check out my Instagram. I also have my podcast, all that good stuff down below. And I will see you in my next video. Sending you so much love and light and have a fantastic